Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. And I want you, some of you to learn there is always a time when that time passes, you lose it, that opportunity. Everything has got time. If your time comes and you don't, you don't uh, get the opportunity, you lose it. You lose it. Valungu missed that opportunity. He missed that opportunity. Even when the people were there shouting and everything, Valungu could not even dare lift a hand or anything. I had to come here and make up some excuses for his non-reaction. Because people wanted him to say to do something. That was the time. I kept on talking, I kept on talking, and I was being told, Bola Panshi, Bola Panshi, Bola Panshi, Bola Panshi, PF number 80 Panshi. PF now 80 Panshi. The time has passed. I'm telling you, the time has passed. This time, the time has passed. Balungu, the time has passed. He, he, don't even think, no, some of you are thinking, no, whatever. It, it, it's a non-starter. It's a non-starter. Bringing Balungu uh, 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 to whatever, it's a non-starter. It's a non-starter. Look, even, he's going round. He's going round. He was at the PF Secretariat. Eh? How many people came? But given Luvinda was here saying, hey, come in numbers, come in numbers, come in numbers. Hey, shan, 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 arise. What, 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 what? Eh? How many people? You couldn't even fill up the pop square. You couldn't even fill it up. You couldn't fill it up. And if you cannot fill up, you know, the pop square, you are having your memorial and you have advertised it. You have advertised it and you can't fill up pop square. What political threat do you have? Political threat comes with people. If you don't have people, where you show up and you don't have people, you are not a political threat. Valungu is no longer a political threat. He even he managed, he was there. If Valungu was a political threat, those few police officers who were arguing with Makebi Zulu, they wouldn't have contained them. A few police officers have contained Edgar Lungu wherever he has shown up in public. Few police officers, just a few, few police officers, they have contained him. A person with a political muscle, you don't dare. I mean, and Namaste is with Amakwata. You don't have strategies. Even when he was organizing, when he was saying he was going to come out, when he was saying he was going to come out, he's going to come back. You should have done better. You should have done better, not what you did. You are organizing, you are saying, hey, no, I'm coming back, I'm coming back. And you have half the number of people that Mao Sampa hired to come and make him president. Who are you threatening? Who can you threaten? Look at you. HH when he was in opposition where HH was appearing challenge and to they used to be crowds and because of those crowds PF were scared of 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 of, of uh, Haka in the HD. they were scared of Haka in the HD. now Imwe, who is scared of Balung I have told you before I told you before that you are not investing in politics but long before coming out, he should have invested in this project. He should have invested in this project. Such that when he's announcing to say, I'm coming back, he announced, I'm coming back. Eh? 
I am talking to those of you who may have false hopes. I'm talking to you who may have false hopes that Walungu can, can turn around things. He can't. The time that he could have done this is already gone. And he is the one who has caused us to be where we are today. He's the one. Because he was selfish. He wanted to hold this. He wanted to hold the PF presidency. And Mao Sampa has grabbed it. Mao Sampa has grabbed it. He has purely Mao Sampa has grabbed this. I am insisting. I'm not saying that I like it. I'm not saying that I agree with it. I don't agree with it. But the status quo as we speak tonight, Mao Sampa has grabbed the PF presidency. He has. What Vaneri Muti did in parliament confirms it. What Vaneri Muti did confirms that Mao Sampa is in for a good ride up to 2026. And if you are not careful, if you are not careful, this marks the end of a PF presidency. Because if Mao's is holding on, I told you, I said it be here before. If Mao's is holding to PF presidency, Mao's will decide who is going to contest as member of parliament. Mao's will decide who is going to contest as president of PF. This is where we are. This is where we are. I will come to the legal issues. I will come to the legal issues. I will come to the legal issues and then I will come and uh, some, uh, end with the UPND side. For now, I'm talking about Ed Galungu and I'm telling you that Ed Galungu Eva Lenga, one, because he held on to this, to this issue of uh, presidency. He held on to presidency of PF. He has never resigned. He has never resigned. That is number one. Then, number two. Number two. Now that he is around, is there anything that Balungu can do? There is nothing that Balungu can do at the moment. There is nothing. There is nothing that Balungu can do for himself to resuscitate his political life. Balungu cannot resuscitate his political life. Himself, he can't. He can't. Where is he? Where is he? he can't. The only way Valungu can resuscitate himself is in spite of all these things that are going on. Because now they have basically Mao Sampa, Mao Sampa has run away with a certificate. You see, like somebody, somebody told me, Mao Sampa has run away with a blue book of a car. But PF has the car. I am trying to be as objective as I can be here. Mao Sampa has run away with the white book of the car. But PF has the car. PF has the car. So the only thing that PF can do now with Ed Galungu coming back is to make sure that they use the vehicle to move. They use the vehicle to move. Mao Sampa, all he has is a paper. Mao Sampa has a paper. He has a certificate for UPND. Of course, the Registrar of Society has not changed the names. Has not changed the names. But with everything that is currently going on, it's very difficult, you know, for Valungu to claim legitimacy, or, or not legitimacy, but to stand as a legal president of PF. It's very difficult. The one who is being recognized by the government because the government are the ones that enforce the law. That's what I told you the other time. I told you that it's the government that enforces the law. This is DJ Mutati exclusive. Savage. All right, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you. Peace. I gotta go.